Charles Matt says now the Borno state government says it will start offering comprehensive anti-malaria services across the 27 local government councils of the state at no cost. Commissioner for Health and Human Services, Professor Baba Malam Ghana, said this at a media briefing in Maiduguri. Senior reporter Jason Tafida has details. The Borno State Minister of Health through the State Malaria Elimination Program will continue to count on the teamwork, technical and financial support of various implementing partners that have enabled the state to attain its current uh, successes on malaria elimination. This temple needs to be sustained. Reaffirmation of positive commitment by the State Commissioner of Health, Baba Malamgana. He confirmed that the state has recorded over 527 malaria cases in 2023 and 15,000 severe cases which has now dropped significantly as a result of efforts put in place by the state government. I'm pleased to inform you that the state malaria elimination program has yielded better results as recently seen in the National Malaria Indicator Survey of 2021. The state has had seven rounds of uninterrupted seasonal malarial chemo prevention intervention between 2017 and 2023 through the support of Nigeria Malaria Elimination Program, the WHO. Easy access to malaria preventive and treatment interventions was guaranteed by the World Health Organization, especially in communities that are difficult to reach and have just relocated. We are committed to leading our teams to provide more support to the government of Borno and we will continue to advocate at the national and global levels for more equity and resource uh, mobilization and ensure that malaria prevention and control programs are significantly scaled up. The state government pledged to provide free, long-lasting treated nets to pregnant women, children under five, and newly resettled communities, along with a steady supply of anti-malarial medications. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.